Have you ever pondered how small we are in the grand scheme of the universe? It's a thought that can leave us feeling quite insignificant, but it also stirs a sense of wonder, curiosity, and awe. The universe in its infinite expanse holds countless galaxies, each teeming with billions of stars. Nestled within one such galaxy, the Milky Way, is our home. The solar system, quite tiny when compared to the vast cosmic canvas, but its mysteries and marvels are anything but small. Comprising of a life-giving star, eight diverse planets, moons, asteroids, and comets, our solar system is a testament to the universe's enigmatic beauty and diversity. Each celestial body in our solar system, from the scorching Mercury to the icy Neptune, has its own story to tell. A story of formation, evolution, and existence in the cosmic dance around the sun. Today, we're journeying through our very own solar system, a small but fascinating corner of the universe. At the heart of our solar system, the sun reigns supreme. As the largest object in our cosmic neighborhood, it holds a staggering 99.8% of the system's total mass. This enormous celestial body is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, with trace amounts of heavier elements. It's this composition that fuels the nuclear reactions at the sun's core, emitting the light and heat that we feel on Earth. The sun's powerful gravitational pull keeps all the planets, asteroids, comets, and other celestial bodies in their orbits. It's a cosmic dance choreographed by the sun's gravity. But the sun's influence goes beyond just holding the solar system together. It's the source of the light and warmth essential for life on Earth. The sun's expected lifespan is about 10 billion years, and it's currently in its middle age at about four and a half billion years old. Without the sun, life as we know it would simply cease to exist. Closer to the Sun, we find the four inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are sometimes referred to as the rocky worlds because they are composed primarily of rock and metal. Each one of these celestial bodies has a unique set of characteristics that set them apart from each other. And yet, they all share a common bond as the siblings of our solar system. Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the Sun, is a world of extremes. Its surface is pockmarked with craters from countless meteor impacts. Despite its proximity to the sun, Mercury experiences wildly fluctuating temperatures with scorching days and freezing nights. Next in line from the sun, we find Venus, Earth's sinister twin. Named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, Venus is anything but hospitable. Its surface temperature can reach up to 867 degrees Fahrenheit, making it the hottest planet in our solar system. The thick, toxic atmosphere creates a greenhouse effect that traps heat, leading to these extreme temperatures. The third rock from the Sun, our home Earth, is the largest of the rocky planets. It is the only known planet to harbor life, thanks to its perfect distance from the Sun and the presence of water in its liquid state. Last but not least, we have Mars, the red planet. Mars is of particular interest to scientists, due to the possibility of it once harboring life. Evidence of water in its past and ice caps at its poles suggest that conditions might have once been suitable for life to exist. These rocky worlds, each with their unique characteristics, continue to captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike. As we learn more about these planets, we gain greater insight into the workings of our own world and the possibilities that exist beyond our blue planet. Beyond the asteroid belt, the outer planets await Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. As we journey further from the Sun, the planets we encounter are vastly different from the inner, rocky planets. These are the gas giants and ice worlds, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These celestial bodies are colossal in size, dwarfing their terrestrial counterparts with their enormous girth. Jupiter, the first of the gas giants, is the largest planet in our solar system, over 11 times the diameter of Earth. It's a world dominated by swirling clouds of gas and storms larger than our home planet. The most famous of these, the Great Red Spot, is a storm that has been raging on Jupiter for at least three centuries. This tempest is so large that three Earths could fit within its boundaries. Next in line is Saturn, the ringed beauty of our celestial neighborhood. While all gas giants have ring systems, Saturns are the most striking. Made of countless particles of ice and rock, these rings extend outwards for tens of thousands of miles from the planet's equator, creating a breathtaking celestial spectacle. Venturing further out, we encounter Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants. These planets, while still mostly composed of gas, have a higher proportion of ices, compounds like water, ammonia, and methane. 
which freeze in the frigid temperatures so far from the sun. Uranus, with its unusual tilt, spins almost on its side, while Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun, is home to the strongest winds in the solar system. Each of these planets, with their unique features and characteristics, exhibit the rich diversity that exists within our solar system. From the stormy, gaseous expanses of Jupiter and Saturn to the icy, distant worlds of Uranus and Neptune, our understanding of the outer planets continues to grow. These distant, gaseous and icy giants remind us of the incredible diversity within our solar system. Once considered the ninth planet, Pluto now marks the beginning of the Kuiper Belt. This icy world, named after the Roman god of the underworld, is a gateway to a fascinating region of our solar system. Pluto, with a diameter of about one-sixth that of Earth, is a dwarf planet, a classification that recognizes its small size and its orbit, which is populated by other similar-sized objects. Pluto is an enigmatic world. Its surface is composed of a variety of ices and has been shaped by both impacts and possible internal activity. It has a thin atmosphere of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide that expands when Pluto comes closer to the Sun and collapses as it moves farther away. This tiny world also has five known moons, with Charon being the largest, nearly half the size of Pluto itself. Stepping beyond Pluto, we enter the Kuiper Belt, a vast region extending from the orbit of Neptune to distances of over 50 times the Earth's distance from the Sun. This area is populated by a multitude of icy bodies, remnants from the formation of the solar system. Among these objects, we find dwarf planets like Eris, Haumea, and Makemake, each with their unique characteristics. Eris, for instance, is known for its highly reflective surface, indicating a fresh layer of frost formed from its atmosphere. Haumea, on the other hand, spins so rapidly that it has an elongated shape, and it's surrounded by a ring, a feature not common among dwarf planets. Makemake, named after the creation deity of the Rapa Nui people of Easter Island, is the second brightest object in the Kuiper Belt. These objects, along with countless others in the Kuiper Belt, are like frozen time capsules, holding clues about the early solar system. They're incredibly distant and difficult to study, but each discovery we make adds another piece to the cosmic puzzle. Pluto and its fellow Kuiper Belt objects represent the frontier of our solar system, a gateway to the vast expanse of space beyond. So, as we gaze out into the cosmos, we realize that our journey through the solar system is just the beginning. Our journey through the solar system has been nothing short of awe-inspiring. We've traversed the fiery heart of our solar system, the majestic sun, a blazing sphere of hot plasma that provides us with light, warmth, and energy. We've journeyed through the rocky world, starting with Mercury, the smallest planet, yet with a day longer than its year. Venus, our closest neighbor, shrouded in a thick, toxic atmosphere where the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Our home, Earth, the blue marble teeming with life and diversity. And Mars, the red planet with the tallest volcano and deepest canyon in the solar system. We then ventured into the territory of the gas giants. Jupiter with its great red spot, a storm that's been raging for centuries, and its four largest moons, each a world unto itself, Saturn the jewel of our solar system with its spectacular rings made of ice and rock, Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants, with their intriguing and complex weather systems. Beyond this, we've explored the frontier of our solar system, the Kuiper Belt, home to Pluto and countless other icy bodies, remnants from the formation of our solar system. And finally, the Oort Cloud, a distant spherical shell of icy objects believed to be the source of our long-period comets. Each planet, each object has its unique features, its own story to tell. The distances between these celestial bodies are vast, the sizes are mind-boggling, and yet, they're just a tiny part of the universe we're a part of. Our journey has been one of discovery and wonder. It's shown us how diverse and fascinating our solar system is, and yet, it's just the beginning. There's still so much we don't know, so much left to explore. As we continue to explore and learn, who knows what other secrets our solar system holds, until then, keep looking up, stay curious, and never stop exploring.